Welcome into the kitchen of Ebony, Ivy, and Time with Leona Dooley. Today, we're going to take a look at some spring kitchen vignettes. And I thought you might like a few ideas about some of the things that you might want to do in your kitchen. So, let's take our time. We're going to build several kitchen vignettes and have a great time together. There are three major components for any vignette. First, you want to place it on a tray. Then, you want to add seasonal florals and decor. And of course, you want an encouraging message that will inspire someone who's looking at your vignette. When you're working with vignettes, and especially right now, we're working with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And we usually have something that's really going to draw the eye. And in this case, it's the bunnies. And they're awfully cute. But you know, we've got to be able to put those bunnies in such a way that it's going to be welcoming and it's going to add to the look of the vignette. So we have to put things in place and sometimes stand back and take some things out. So please be patient and watch till the end because you're going to have some extras that are going to come that I think you'll like. When you're thinking about kitchen vignettes, keep this in mind. They aren't just for the kitchen. You can certainly move one of these vignettes into another place in your home, even into an entryway. So make them beautiful. And remember, you also don't have to have just one in your kitchen.
the in this arrangement without making a mess because I did put the candy in first okay I know I didn't make it easy but there's our spot for our candy and I'm going to kind of move things around so that oops don't want to lose the money move things around so I can get things just where I want them so there we have the color from the, the candy with the eggs we have our bunny with his cross we needed signage and I have this beautiful sign that says hello spring and I'm gonna see if I can find a place where the bunny is gonna be happy and I think that's going to have to be right over here. I want that sign to stay right there. That's the perfect spot where when you look at this, you'll say, wow, it worked. She was able to get the sign, the florals, the animal, and lots of color into this.
this year I made my vignette more of a centerpiece. And so because of that, I'm starting with a very small tray, which you're going to see is going to be a little bit of an issue later on because I had a whole lot of things I wanted to get on this tray. But most of all, I found these cute little bunnies at Target and they were a must. So I've got my uh, florals for the season. I have my decor, which are my bunnies and the eggs, of course, for Easter. And hello spring, we are ready to go. It is always fun being in the kitchen with you. And you know, when we have a chance to do something that's not necessarily cooking, but definitely adds to the beauty of the kitchen, I am all about it. And I know 